Hey, it's Lilius and I decided to upload the uh, makeup videos that I'd done as part of my vlog as uh, separate files just to make it easier. So here's me kind of um, rambling over the top of them. Um, so this makeup was done for um, a tester because we had to do makeup on the girls in the play. Um, we kind of wanted them to make them look a bit like evil mermaids, drowned women sort of thing. So uh, let's move some white cream makeup. Uh, it's like a face paint cheap thing from Halloween store sort of idea. And it's just I'm not trying to white out my face. I'm just trying to sort of pale it down a bit more than I normally am anyway. I'm popping on some eyeshadow primer because my eyelids just do not hold eyeshadow to them at all unless I have primer on. This is the Sugar Pill palette and I'm using a white eyeshadow, I think that one's called Mako, I'm not sure, uh, just to set all of the cream because it's super sticky. I'm sorry again for my really really greasy hair. So I'm taking a dark blue colour and using that as my kind of contour shade um, to again white out my face a little bit more, make it a little bit more deathly, a bit more ill looking and I'm going over the top of that with brown just to uh, make it look a little bit more natural and less um, cartoony. Achoo! <laughs> it's me pondering about what the hell to do next. Yep. Uh, what am I doing next anyway? Oh, I'm going in with the pink around the eyes. Um, so basically what I wanted to do was to layer down a whole bunch of colour first and then go over the top of it with a browner colour so that um, it could look a bit more like uh, a colour correcting but colour correcting in the, the bad way. So I've done a little bit of pink around the side of the nose, over the lips as well, going over the top with a purple just to make it a bit more bruised and swollen and lovely looking. Lovely. And then going in with a dark blue again to uh, sort of work out what to do for this look because I'm not a makeup artist in any way, shape or form. I ended up on Google Images looking up uh, drowned makeup. That is a bad place to go to. I saw some horrific things. So that's just me saying it's colour correcting basically and I'm going in with a sort of, I think it's a slightly darker than skin tone brown there. I'm not sure if I showed it at all. Um, Similar to the contour shade. I'm just going over everything to sort of uh, make it look more natural. That's just me choosing red or green around the eyes. I chose red to sort of make it look a bit more uh, puffy and red eyed. Lovely. And as I show you all the mess in my room that you can't see on camera through the mirror, probably. Don't look. Don't look. Don't see it. Oh no! <laughs> Uh, then because it's on stage I wanted to make sure that the eyes really really stood out at the moment they were looking um, a little bit sunk, um, not clear enough so I've outlined them in black to try and make them clearer. When it actually came to doing the makeup on the girls um, they uh, they needed so much darker than I thought it was going to be because it was going to be on stage. So that's using red. I've used uh, NYX red eyeshadow here because I don't have red in my Sugar Pill Pro palette yet. Because I've already sold out of it. It's heartbreaking. That's what I spent my student loan on. <laughs> Going in with black as well to make the eyes look even clearer, make them look more expressive. Uh, the girls had some fantastic facial expressions going on so I wanted to make sure that that would be really clear. Uh, going in with a black uh, eyeliner and uh, lipstick by Ellie Splash. It's called Katrina. It's a really really weird shade so I just put in black on the inside of my lips I'm messing it about a wee bit going up and down with it and then popping the Katrina on top uh, it is a strange color in some lights it looks green in some lights it looks black in some lights it looks brown um, it's kind of got that oil slick thing going on but it worked really well for this I'm putting a little bit of a chunky white NYX eyeliner on my brows and then I'm using it to contour as well. Basically I just got a little bit heavy handed and happy with it. I decided I would put a little bit of highlighter on just for me so I could have a little bit of a bit of highlighter going on. Makes me happy. Uh, in the end I didn't use it for the girls so I didn't think they should have uh, shiny glittery faces. They should be a little bit more blank and dead looking. Uh, that's using the NYX setting spray and then I'm going in with a uh, conditioner and um, a wet look hair gel 
to make my hair look even wetter than it already did in its greasy condition and I decided to send her part in it just because that fit for for me but I have uh, barely any hair to actually put this product through whereas the girls had absolutely loads of hair uh, and we ended up scrunching it up and making it look a bit more like they'd um, been swimming and then climbed out of the water and it had got all messy and stuff rather than this kind of sleeked 90s straight thing going on that's happening here um but yeah, I was just trying to make it look as straggly and as wet as possible, which is easy enough with the greasy condition. I actually really like how this looks. This is probably how I wanted to look for the majority of the 90s. <laughs> but I was having so much fun here. It was it was good. And then because uh, I'd spent a while putting some makeup on and coming up with a look, we figured we may as well go and take some photos of it. So we popped a blue sheet down in the bath uh, and got in and uh, used a little... Little, uh, it's two seconds of video because he pressed the wrong button <laughs> and this is like a more edited photo of it um, and there's ones that I'm playing with in Photoshop as well so yeah uh, I am not a makeup artist disclaimer I have no idea what I'm doing um, at all but it was good fun and yeah see you next time bye